Residents at NATO's headquarters in Kabul welcomed three Gold Star families and four wounded veterans on Saturday. It was part of Operation Proper Exit, a program that brings injured combat veterans and their families back to theater for closure. Lieutenant General Richard Cripwell, deputy commander of NATO's Afghan mission, acknowledged the wounded vet's contribution to the ongoing fight. What remarkable men you are. I don't have to tell you that it isn't easy, and it never has been. But peace here is worth all our efforts, and peace here will do so much to make the world a safer place. Staff Sergeant Lucas Sifak stepped on an IED while serving in Afghanistan back in 2013. He lost both legs above the knee. You guys are, are out here making progress, um, taking a fight to the enemy, and that is the, the single most healing thing that I, I can ever uh, experience. To know that uh, my brothers that did not come home um, and myself did not come uh, go through that uh, for nothing. Air Force senior airman Aubrey Hand III was also injured by an IED in Afghanistan in 2012. This is, this is giving me an opportunity to get rid of a lot of, um, a lot of hatred that I've had, and uh, it's a relief to be able to come back. Since 2008, the nonprofit Faraday's Troops First Foundation has organized 23 Operation Proper Exit trips, 10 to Iraq and 13 to Afghanistan. Executive Director Rick Kell says the program provides a critical exchange between wounded warfighters and those currently deployed. You know, it's, it's, it's always a give and take, uh, and, and they're there for each other. And, and I think what our guys realize is that they're still part of it, and, and the troops that are deployed realize that, that there's a great sense of resiliency and a desire to move forward and carry on, uh, even when, when their brothers leave the battlefield under adverse conditions. Army Major Sarah Sully says she was moved by the event. So much to teach us, and I'm so glad they were able to come back. And for them to thank us, was just no worries. The visit comes as the U.S. is ramping up its fight in Afghanistan as part of the Trump administration's new South Asia strategy. Last month, the Pentagon said more than 3,000 additional U.S. troops were deployed to the country, bringing the official total to around 14,000. Troops will embed with Afghans on the front line, raising concerns that casualties could rise further. Over 2,400 U.S. troops have been killed in the 16-year war. More than 20,000 have been wounded. This year alone, 14 U.S. service members have been killed in the country. Two other coalition troops were also killed. Saturday wrapped up a week in Afghanistan for the veterans and Gold Star families who visited several sites across the country. They'll return to the United States on Sunday. Philip Walter Wellman, Stars and Stripes, Kabul.